Yeah, super excited. Um, it's obviously a great opportunity for me, um, you know, being a, a freshman, just kind of getting real experience before you know the SEC next year. So I'm super pumped up for this opportunity. How much has life changed for you since everything's kind of been a world before over the last few weeks with you being uh, a starter? <laughs> not much, just more reps at practice. What's your relationship best with this? It's been good. I, I've been close with Coach Luttrell since he got here. Um, a constant communication since he's got here, and he's helped me uh, develop as a player. Um, even, even not in the OC role, and um, you know, it's just, it's been great to get to know him, and I'm super happy he's our OC now. Did Dylan have any message for you when he left? Yeah, he just told me to just you know have fun and ball out, and I hope you know I hope we see him down the line next year. Are there uh, some extra nerves that come with knowing this bowl game? You know, you have two whole weeks to think about it leading up. Um, I think definitely day up, there'll be a lot more nerves than normal. But um, right now, I'm just staying level-headed. I'm just getting prepped for the ball game right now. Did you have to step back and, and reevaluate things at all when Coach Levy left, or was it never even a decision? Um, you know, there's always stuff to reevaluate when change happens. Um, obviously, I left Coach Levy. I'm the scheme is coaching, um, what he had to offer for me. But, um, you know, when he went to Mississippi State, and especially with who we hired, I knew I was in the right spot. How much did that BYU experience help you going into this bowl game, rather, if you hadn't played since September? I mean, right, I mean, I don't know now, but I'm sure when I get into the bowl game, I'll be grateful of my experience at BYU, you know, getting put in and crunch time in a probably not ideal situation. I think it'll be, uh, be huge for the come bowl game. We know you love football and practice and all that type of stuff, and that's kind of what your role has been this year, but. How different is it walking out here? You know, you say you get more reps, but does, is there a lot more excitement to, to practice now for you? No doubt. Um, you know, practice like you, you gotta you gotta practice, but you know, as a backup, it does kind of suck a little bit coming out knowing you're not the guy and you're taking less reps. And there's obviously a, a, a bigger um, excitement level coming out, you know, knowing you're the guy and knowing you're gonna go out and play. Going back to Seth, is there anything in particular you can pick up? And let us know about the heat helped you out with either this year or in these last uh, couple of weeks? Um, just helping me out with, with run schemes. Um, he was he was big in that part of the game plan at UNT, and I'm talking about run schemes. Um, so just kind of teaching me how, how some of those work. Um, you know, and, and honestly, for, for me and him, we were both kind of learning together in the spring. You know, he's coming in trying to learn uh, Coach Levy's terminology. And so was I, so we kind of fed off each other in the spring. Oh, I've seen a lot of portal movement at the running back position yeah, no, on the offensive line. How do you build chemistry in these practices leading up to the bowl game with a lot of new faces? I'm just getting reps with these guys. Um, we've got we've got a couple new faces. Um, some young guys will probably get some opportunity in the bowl game, but just getting reps with them right now in these first couple of weeks. We're not even really in bowl prep yet, you know? Like, we're not even in game prep yet. We're kind of just, just you know. Getting back in the groove of things now, but getting reps with these guys early on will help us in the bowl game. Did you have a pretty good idea that Dylan was going to leave, or were you sort of waiting on his decision? Waiting on his decision. Um, I I didn't know where he was going to go with his decision. Like I mean, like portal or NFL or coming back in another year. I, I really didn't know, but um, you know, I'm super happy for Dylan, and, and he's got a great opportunity and a great future ahead of him. With the way quarterbacking is around yeah, college football today, most people don't sit around much. If he'd have come back, were you prepared to have to move on, or what? What was your mindset on that? Um, you know, I, I would have had to evaluate where I was at here um, for sure. I mean, there was no, I was not swayed um, either which way on what I would have done. But um, you know, obviously when something like that happens, you have to take a step back and see. It appears that everybody in charge here has supreme trust and confidence in you. In other words, there's not a lot of wailing and gnashing of teeth that they lost a quarterback like Bill and Gabriel. Is that, you take that as a, as a sign of uh, respect for, for what you can do? Uh, definitely, you know, having the coaches trust is, is a huge thing for me. And, and, you know, knowing that the coaches are, you know, trusting me to go out before my best and they're not, you know, changing the game plan whatsoever. You know, we're running the same stuff and we would run, we'd run the same stuff that Dylan was here too. So just that trust they have in me is uh, really special to me. What, what is the biggest thing you learned from Dylan? Or biggest things? Um, I, I want to say Dylan kind of taught me how to be a you know like a really good college quarterback and perform at the highest level. I mean, he had a stellar year this past year, and the way he handled himself, um, it was it was super awesome to see. Like, not only him as a player, but him as a person handle everything. It just kind of taught me, you know, to be calm, collected, level-headed, and then you know, off the field, he uh, he helped me out with learning the offense, whether that was you know installed.
plays or you know key in defenses and defensive recognition. Um, he helped me out with, with all of that. How much more comfort do you feel when you look across? You know, you have Danny and Billy both in the back next year along with you. Yeah, that's huge. Um, having experience guys like that heading into the SEC is obviously a big for our defense. And you know, I think our defense is going to take a step forward next year because of that. What did you think of the video? Yeah, I thought it was awesome. Yeah. I was actually with our um, – when Danny posted that, I was with our camera people just talking to them. And we were just talking about the video, but they did a great job on it. And I thought it was hilarious. It was very uh, Danny-like. <laughs> Have you learned much about Seth in the couple of practices or, that you, you've gone through with him yet in terms of what kind of coordinator he's going to be or how different he'll um, be? A little bit. You know, it's hard for Coach Luttrell because we're still going off of Levy's plays and, and his terminology right now. So I won't see uh, Coach Luttrell kind of take over and implement his style and step on that till the spring. But so far, I've seen him step into a more vocal role, um, especially in our meeting rooms. And that was something I was very curious to see, you know, knowing him coming from an analyst to the position the, as an OC now, I was curious to see that transition. And I think he's stepped up and been a more vocal leader for us. I've had two different guys talk about him. One said, big on the run, loves the running game. The other guy said, he loves to throw. He's going to throw it all over the place. Now, can you break the tie? He's very balanced. <laughs> Yeah, I mean, he, he loves to run the ball and he loves to throw the ball. Um, there's, not, there's not one thing he specializes in, but, you know, being, a, being an H-back as he was, he's a tough guy, so obviously, you know, he's going he's gonna to love to run the ball. But he's a very balanced OC, and I'm super excited to get to work with him. You talked about, you talked about uh, you know, curious to see how he was going to react when he got in front of everybody. Can you tell that he's been a head coach just by his mannerisms? Of the you can, no doubt. Um, the first day of meeting, he's just stepping up and, Addressing us was he was very calm and had a very strong and poised demeanor about him. You can tell he's been here before. Does this feel like a does this feel like a new season? I mean, it's the theory of the end of a season, but does this bowl prep and the and the game itself it almost feels like the start of a new season a with all bit. the changes. Yeah, um, the first two practices so like yesterday and the day before were a little off, you know. Having a new OC, not having Dylan here, um, it was a little, little off. The energy was off a little bit, but I think today was was big for us as as a group. You know, getting our getting our mojo back and kind of getting things rolling again. What do you think about 